Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson. Today we're going to be talking about static versus instance fields and methods. In our previous lessons we've been talking about object-oriented programming and classes and objects and we know that in order to create an object what we do is we instantiate you know the object from the class. So um, just say in our previous ex examples we've been working with the dog class just like we have here if we created a bunch of dog objects how would we count how many dogs that there were? Well, that's exactly what this static stuff lets us do. It actually lets us work on the class versus the object itself. So let's go ahead and see an example of this. Uh, first, we'll talk about the class. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary here. Uh, we have our access modifier. This is the, the only new thing. It's our static, our type, our dog count, and our initializer. So then we go ahead and look at our constructor. We're passing in our parameters. The only thing that's new here is that we actually have dog count, which again is that static uh, variable, and we're incrementing that. So every time we create a dog object, we're going to increment dog count plus plus. So that, that makes sense, right? So every time we create an object, we're going to add one to how many dogs there are. Uh, number of dogs, that's uh, just a method that's going to put out a number of dogs. And that's a, you know, it's not working with the class, it's just a standard method. And dog information, which is just outputs their name and weight. So let's go ahead and uh, try this out here. So we'll do dog panda equal new dog. And we'll put in the name panda and weight. He is 92 pounds. So now what we can do is panda dot, we'll just do dog information. And then panda dot number of dogs. Okay, so we'll go ahead and run this program. Panda, wait, total number of dogs is one. <clears throat> so that makes sense, right? So let's see what happens if we create another dog before panda. We'll say dog uh, Tinkerbell equal new dog Tinkerbell and six. And if we run this now, we'll have a number of dogs. Should be two, right? So there we go. So, but we're going to run into a problem. What happens if we want to see how many dogs there are before we have any dogs, right? You know, in a big program, maybe we don't even know that we uh, that we haven't created any dogs yet. That would be a problem. But what we can do is we can go ahead and create uh, this this method as a uh, static method, right? So static. Obviously, this will break this because we're working with the class now. And then we'll come up here and we'll put in dog dot. And now we'll actually see that method there. And then after we create this two dogs, we'll just go ahead and do this again. Dog dot number of dogs. So now what we should get is the number of dogs. Then we create two dogs. And then we'll get the number of uh, dogs again. So uh, zero and then two, right? zero and two. So that is really what uh, what static uh, is about, just essentially working on the class itself versus the objects. Uh, I hope you liked today's lesson and please join us for the next episode. Thank you.